This is the latest character in the new Tekken video game. And believe it or not, she's actually doing real traditional karate. So as your favorite karate nerd, in today's video, I'm gonna break down exactly how this new character uses real karate. Check it out. Let's have a look. Okay, already right now, I see that she's doing a classical kata in the Shotokan style of karate, known as Kangu Dai. To show you what this looks like in real life, have a look at Mahiro, a seven-year-old karate girl doing the exact same movements. As you can see, this is not some made up video game stuff, it's legit karate. But the fun thing here is this performance is actually very close to the original form of the kata as seen in Okinawa, the birthplace of karate. Here's an Okinawan karate master performing Kushan Kudai, which is the older form of this kata. As you can see, the stances are a little bit different, different, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's so cool that they're actually using real traditional karate. Now, in previous Tekken games, they actually had Kyokushin karate represented, and you can see that in some of the movements that Jin performed. But in this case, it's closer to its original roots in Okinawa. You see, many people think that this form was how Kung Fu was brought from China to Okinawa and later developed into karate. And it all has to do with something called the Oshima Hiki incident. You see, in 1762, an Okinawan tribute ship was blown off course and drifted to Oshima Beach on Shikoku Island. On this island lived a Confucian scholar named Tobe Ryoen. Upon hearing that a ship had stranded on the beach, he enthusiastically grabbed his brush and rice paper and recorded everything in a chronicle entitled Oshima Hiki, which translates to the Oshima incident. Basically, he wrote down everything about the ship and its crew and so on. Now, in a dialogue with an Okinawan officer from the boat, there appears the name of a Chinese called Ku Shang Ku. And the fact that there exists a karate kata with the exact same name of this kung fu expert is no coincidence. It's believed that Kushanku handed down his movements to a man named Yara who lived in Chatan because there is a kata called Chatan Yara Kushanku, which literally means the Kushanku of Yara who lived in Chata. <laughs> and this is a kata used even in the Olympic level qualification tournaments of modern karate. This original form led to two other Kushanku versions and they were developed by a man named Itosu Anko who was known for spearheading the introduction of karate into the Okinawan school system. And of course, the most famous student of Itosu Anko was Funako Shigichin, the father of modern karate and the founder of Shotokan, which is exactly what we're seeing in this new trailer. And now that you know where it came from, let's have a look at the next part of the trailer. This is actually the practical application, what we usually refer to as bunkai in Japanese, from not only kanku dai, but also other kata like heian or pinan sandan. But what I really like about this is that she's actively grabbing her opponent, pulling back and punching, which is the real practical application of hikite, the withdrawing or pulling hand in Japanese. Now, many people don't even know that you're supposed to grab something when you pull your hand to the hip in its functional application. But somehow, the people behind the Tekken game know this. Perhaps it's because they're actually known for using real martial artists when they do their motion capture. You see, what they actually do is they put these sensors on the joints of actual martial artists, or in this case, probably a real karate practitioner, to record how they're moving. And then that is used as the basis for the actual gameplay. 
which is why it actually looks like real karate and not just some made up fighting game stuff. Now the rest of the trailer shows you what it actually looks like when you're playing the game. And I gotta say, I'm already picking up some pretty cool moves because the cool thing about Tekken is that since the movements are actually based on real martial arts, you can actually learn from the video game. And I remember playing Tekken as a kid, I actually learned a lot of stuff that I would actively use in the dojo. Trust me, it works. Excellent. And if you thought this was cool, you should check out my other videos to learn even more about the art, history, science, knowledge, and culture of karate. Game hard, good luck, and have fun.